All right, so what okay. is Deimos? Well, it's just a regular old moon of Mars. It's just like a little mini planetoid and just like rock and dirt and just boring stuff, I guess, right? Well, <laughs> maybe that's true. No, <laughs> it's not. It's not at oh, all. Oh, cool. The really cool part about this, I think, that Rebecca uh, wants to make sure is this is a... a we're, we're going to make sure that we have our, uh, oh, how's, how's that? You That's didn't wait very long, by the way. That's fine. We're good. Okay. How's that? You're That's good? much better. Yeah. Okay. That's how you know we're live. All right. Uh, <laughs> is This is a, a retirement of a, a, a system in Warframe, right, that people have been asking for for a while. The derelict key system uh, is one of the oldest key systems in the game, and it doesn't really allow for great matchmaking. So no. what we've done is we've taken the derelicts and we've pushed them into their own region that is on the star chart as Mars's second moon, Deimos. And it was not because I was playing Realm of the Mad God obsessively that no. the key <laughs> system came into the game. No. <laughs> so let's uh let's go right in. Yeah, let's do it. Let's enter the Cambian Drift. The Cambian Drift. Ooh, spooky. I'm not sure if we're muted, but... You received our distress signal. Mother will be pleased. What? Visitors? Look at you now, a real chip off the old monolith, huh? Just the right sort to save us from the coming cataclysm. Come on! We agreed. I was handling orientation protocol. Sorry, Lloyd. It's just too exciting. We are in crisis, Tenho. Our defense against the Grey Strain has failed. The Necrolisk is in lockdown, but it doesn't matter. The infestation has compromised the very heart itself. We have been forced to rephase into Martian... But how are you, anyway? Things good. <clears throat> As I was saying, our defense situation is dire. Our remaining necromechs have reverted to their autonomous kill precepts. They will not distinguish you from those things. I call that one Fighty Scratchikins. It is imperative you meet Mother, receive her instructions, and prevent the imminent intradimensional catastrophe. Demonstrate your combat readiness, and I will grant you the requisite security clearance. Good luck. Interdimensional? What? Oh, Tech, I've already explained it. Sounds like it bears repeating. All right. What was that, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Just take a look around at. Uh, I would guess we would say this is sort of like an infested planet through and through. Uh, gorgeous atmospherics and lighting. Uh, we just met uh, the totally not claptrap uh, bipolar Steve. version of, uh, of a cephalon trapped inside of this uh, necroloid uh, casing. And, and because we wanted, to, we couldn't be with people for this Tenno Live, we thought, can we make them, uh, everyone, a little bit more linked to the demo experience? So we have a little thing that I think we can all go and enjoy together. There we are. Right, so everyone here so cool. in the game <laughs> uh, can check out 
Oh, yeah. that's so good. Look at that. There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> we get to see everybody. This is awesome. Oh, you can God. see the cosmic Whoa. clock above there. Uh, Lloyd and his and his uh, partner Otak form uh, the uh, kind of secret faction uh, within uh, the infested planet. Uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, but check this out. Pretty cool. So what you're seeing, Megan's very tasteful in Aros Prime. In the <laughs> well Earth. done, Megan. What do you think of that look, uh, Jeff? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> she rated in. And she's in there uh, on the live build on all platforms. If you are in one of the relays, you will be coming on a journey with us through this Tenno Live demo. That's right. So please, if you haven't uh, and you're able to uh, sign into Warframe, we have a few more of these to show you just so that you can kind of see for yourself what's coming uh, and subtly hint that it's closer to ship than most of our TennoCon live demos are. Uh, yeah, okay. and let's keep going. Right. Come along for the ride. It's like a museum. We're going to have it is. Gift, yeah. gift shop items we're going to give to you and all sorts of good stuff. So. All right, let's take a look. It is just uh, nasty and ugly, but also strangely beautiful, I think, how it's turned out. So if you're uh, in the game, uh, we did, uh, if we can have, oh, here we go, everyone's going. You can see here, uh, this <laughs> is the great sun worm of Deimos, sun moon rather, uh, spoiler alert. If we were unclear, demonstrate your readiness by destroying This moon worm is called Vom, and will I she watches over the landscape, uh, and is part of uh, sort of cycle here in this infested landscape. Should we take a closer look? Let's get in. Oh. Wow. This year we have flying fish, my friends. Oh, and can you shoot them? I know that's the question on everyone's mind. But they might be too... Oh! Aren't you supposed to, like, use your... Oh, no, I guess you can't. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> aim better. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, now you got something to prove. Yeah, there you go. First shot. Well, that is a bit of a waste of a good fish. Yes. Fish is gross. Wow. So you can see the infestation have completely cracked through, almost erupting from the ground, and uh, completely swarm uh, what remains of this little planet. This little moon, I guess, planetoid. And uh, a lot was happening, but Lloyd was talking about the century, uh, centuries that defended uh, them here. And you can see the remnants of their kind of old war technology kind of scattered through the landscape, having lost against the infested. You see the the art team has just done an incredible job. The the visuals, it just it's has a real sense of presence. And these cave systems are pretty massive too. Yeah, and that's an interesting part about the procedural uh, aspect of Deimos uh, to keep it fresh is that some of the cave systems below are reconfiguring uh, throughout uh, the cycle. I have detected a hive nearby. Shoot to destroy it. No shock? <laughs> I'll save that for the other guy. <laughs> pay attention. Hostiles incoming. 
There you go. That is so weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't get over that. There's some new enemies coming oh. as well. Oh, he just got snatched. And oh, that's amazing. Oh, he threw him at you. <laughs> All right, buddy. Nice try. Dodge, dodge. Oh. Cleared. We should locate another five. <laughs> well, there we Should go. we though? Wow, that was smushy. It's like epic zit popping. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this cave. It looks so cool. I think the team calls that the brain. <laughs> they do. This is the brain? <laughs> yeah, well, it's... It's, it's the uh, shorthand term it's, for it's, it. It's brain tissue anyway. <laughs> so what, what, were, what, were we the, what were we going for with this insanity of an infested open world? Yeah. Well, yeah, to be honest, we're going for a more compact experience. Uh, I'll, the landscape is incredible and beautiful, but uh, there's really a lot more happening on the inside of the planet. The heart of the planet. Yeah, wow, the surf, the fleshscape is amazing. Yes, this is called the fleshscape inside the studio. I hate that. <laughs> yeah. nope. Too bad, Jeff. Too bad, we've claimed it. We've claimed it. It's the fleshscape. Fleshscape. Oh, oh, look! There's a hive! Nuke it! Now that they're good and mad, hope you're ready. Now, lots of new enemies are coming up. In yes, it, it, seems, it seems to be. This is a gray strain, which is a, a variation on the infested gear, mixed in with uh, variations of types that you might be familiar with. I think Lloyd should be impressive. Nice. What nice. do you think? Lloyd will? Oh, I think so. I think so. Well, we should Let's let our players get a closer look at uh, everything we just slayed there. That's right. If uh, oh, cool. if you're playing uh, in the relay, let's take a look at those uh, up close. <laughs> oh, so that pod we haven't seen yet. Oh, Ooh, yeah. that's a spoiler. Oh, oh the pod. Oh, There's, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that, that, that enemy with the shoulder, I don't know what. What's that guy called? Uh... Hey. The, 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 in studio, the in studio name is Femur. I'm not sure yep. if that's the official one yet. Oh my god, he's so awesome. That's like that's my favorite fight right now. He's got some amazing items too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, sometimes we, you know, when we add, expand our open worlds, yep. we add conservation. <laughs> yep. We do variations Ooh, on the theme yeah. and expand it a bit. Yep. These oh, guys are guy. ugly and adorable all at the same time. Getting a little Miyazaki with it. Pretty cool. Hmm. Of course, floofs will be a critical component. But they're pretty yeah. cute and they look... Uh... They're kind of large. I wonder if you could uh, maybe... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> I think he likes it actually. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. Should I kill him? <laughs> no! no. Okay, okay. Oh, Don't that's come terrible. Come on. Oh. All right, so Lloyd's given us access here to whatever's inside this infested dome. Remember, if you are watching and you want to experience the in-game showrooms, you got to be in the Tenno Live Relay. I see a few, few people Maybe it didn't go to the right relay. Earth 10 Live. Oh. Look at this. He tried to hold it back. Just enough space for little Tenno to make it in. That's me. <laughs> it's you. People are saying that's an eco friendly K drive. That's true. Yes. <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> This is gorgeous. Okay. So this looks like kind of strange but familiar in terms of the design. Mm -hmm. Yep. say Warframe is a hard sci-fi game. <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of magical, uh, strange elements mixed in. So what's, where are we? Yes, you're gonna find out. As soon as Gandalf remembers. Oh, thank you. The infestation wormed into everything. After the Great Purge, there were no Dax. No Tenno to defend the place. Just us. It's not your fault, Chip. Technically, it is. And now you face an existential threat. If the heart stops beating, the wellspring of your power dies with it. Have we tried turning it off and on again? What's that? Tenno, meet the head of the Entrati family. What's left of her anyway? Mother, wake up! Dressing dream. Here we go again. The wall of Loke was before us. I had my my proofs. My father's. I could hear him. I could hear him tapping, tapping at the untimed door. Mother? We went in, but again, he wasn't there. My husband congratulated me. Sarcastic halfwit. All the while, Hiveweed was sprouting all around us. But it was just a dream. No, Mother. You did all of that. You're as wormed as the rest of this place. The heart is about to fail, remember? Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. Functional? We are. And we've summoned Ship here to help us. It'll take more than an old Orokin thug to keep the heart beating. It's what makes you special. You know that, right? All thanks to my father. It pumps the arteries of the here and the void. The Entrati family has maintained it for an age, but it's breaking down, and only that idiot knows how to fix it. The man I used to call my husband. I think he's left for good this time. Hmm. Maybe you can find him. 
probably sulking somewhere outside. Oh. Whoa. So, <laughs> right. Uh, the Entrati here, um, as you can see, they're not in prime health. Um, they are, I would say, the family that originated all of the void in Warframe and all of the power and technology. Why don't we take a closer look at oh. who we just met? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's show it. Okay. Show let's, it let's, bring, let's bring the whole audience in. Let's, let's go. All ten of them. Right on, there she is. There you go. Oh, wow. This is Mother. Mother. She is head of the Entrati family, and she is, I guess you would say she's um, the closest thing to a, a void scientist, a, a mathematician, a philosopher, a little bit of quantum mechanics thrown in. And here she is. She's, she's beautiful. I like Mother. She can't really leave, can she? Yeah, I, I, she, she, she's a bit, uh, yeah, she's a this bit. This mom won't leave you because this, this she can't. Mom, this mom can't leave. I, I see you responding to chat, yep. actually, Rebecca. <laughs> uh, and so, of course, the Void technology, uh, you know, if you're new joining the game, we're going to show you a few things that might not make a lot of sense. Um, but as you progress through the game, you learn more and more uh, about that and the wellspring of uh, Tenno Power. And so look away, and we're, we're going to just show you a little peek. Yeah. And I think it's also good to mention, we just, at this point, are going to deviate from the Heart of Deimos quest. That's right. So, so that's the, that's, we're going to stop mm -hmm. pursuing the quest, and we're just going to kind of go off books and explore a bit. So look. What's behind this door? Oh, look at that. Back here is uh, kind of the only place that hasn't been completely infested yet, uh, where Necroloid uh, hangs out with his, his friend. And if you're uh, big into Warframe lore, uh, the Cosmic Clock, uh, the special Void word, words that were part of the Requiems, it all originated from the Entrati uh, and their family. And uh, as you um, unlock and uh, rise in standing, they will actually reveal kind of the origins of it. And I think Rebecca will just show a little peek here. Yeah. You can see all of them there. She's kind of unlocked. And you know what? The players are going to also get to come along for the ride. Zata. Truth. It began long before us. We who now live our perfect and dull, endless lives. I'm going to cut him off there. Who was that? Oh, it's better learn. <laughs> Actually, I think it said in the tag about the line. It did. Yes. <laughs> it did. Yep. You'll never know. Yes. You'll, you'll never know unless you screenshot. Yes, unless you go back and scrub. Yep. Yep. So yeah, if you uh, play Warframe for its lore, there's um, hopefully some things that will be really interesting and rewarding for you to, uh, to learn about there. I love the store so much. Yes. Right, so this is, uh, I think we've probably shown enough about the Entrati and maybe we'll go back out and kind of do maybe a little bit of a I think more there's, standard mission. Yeah, and there's also some family members here that just don't want to say hi right now. That's right, they, uh, they are resting. It's, uh, it's tough to be partially infested, you know? It's, it is <laughs> tough. Sheldon knows. Sheldon, how's that feeling? It, yeah, it's, you know, <laughs> feels like everything comes in at, yep. uh, at a certain parallax, it's weird. <laughs> and just even just for myself, I'm, I've been forgetting to say things because I'm just so in, in, in love with uh, the design and the visual design and the execution that our team has done mm -hmm. uh, every time they seem to be able to raise the bar. Way to go! So we are we are uh, going to go over time here, folks. But we are we? Yeah. Oh yeah. What? Are we way over, <laughs> way over time? Oh yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Sorry.
Uh, we do have some more cool stuff to show. We got, we got lots of cool stuff to show you, though. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Stay with us. Oh. <laughs> okay, that is nasty. Yikes. So I think what you're going to do now is just uh, take a look at maybe a mission kind of below the surface. That's right. All right. We're going to go, so you know, a we, quick peek. We, you know, we, we, we can wake mother. Not for the faint hearted. So because they're infested, they're actually kind of part of the veins Much and the network. Much has been hidden from us on Deimos. The so old ruins manifest. beneath the surface must still surely be contain the deepest and darkest secrets. Find a way to get you know inside, what, and the Necroloid will guide you through. See what's happening down there. Tell me what he has been up to. When a Shepard explores returned from the void, they would isolate themselves in the vaults until they realigned with causality and sanity. Technology useful against the infestation may still... You stay out, Tenno. There's only death and decay down there. <laughs> if you oh, gather the correct materials, you can persuade the infestation to open up for us. Think of it like gathering bait. An absolutely disgusting door we have to open, so let's, let's get to it here. Oh, but should you... Now we're cooking! What do you think uh -oh. about showing the... Yeah, yeah, coming. yeah. Don't let it Something people snacks. have asked for for a while. Yeah. Let's take a look. So we've got a little wave coming in to kind of stop our processing here. Yeah, now we're talking. <laughs> yeah, we're shitty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Finally. Grind some rails and shoot some <laughs> monsters, right? What is it called again? The Velocipod is going to be your best friend. Yeah, yeah Velocipod. Yeah. Velocipod. Ride a Velocipod and shoot down infested. Amazing. The combined circle is ready. Hurl it against Orifice Portal and it <laughs> I got it off. So. Let's go down below, my friends. This part doesn't make me uncomfortable at all. <laughs> Here comes your dinner. <laughs> now we can progress into the tunnels. Do not How stop. else would you open a door in the heart of Danos? Beat it. These tunnels are deadly even for warframes. Oh, the vaults lie beyond. And just keep in mind, drops are a bit delayed, so just be patient. That's right, if you're watching on Twitch, uh, the servers are backlogged, but they do have your account and they are processing it. Hey, we can use infested ick to keep the toxin off you. <laughs> he was going to find his bomb. Some of the infested are real stinkers. Get them before they make things worse. So you gotta hold this point, right? Yep. 60 seconds. Nice. I love the animation on these guys. Toxicity is falling away to nothing with the Yeah, they turned out great. Gone. We can now access the isolation vaults. So we're going down further. Yeah, further and further. I'm gonna avoid heart puns from here on out. I've made too many. All right. <laughs> so things are getting a little... Gorgeous, Ooh. gorgeous, beautiful, surreal. Love it. I don't think. Ugh. It's like a pink. No! Like, it's like a pink tick or something. Ugh. Right, so 
far below the original structures the Entrati built, uh, some of them still have survived. This is kind of maybe a little harder for this level of content. So, oh, that's that. The custom fast travel. This well, is. That was a little <laughs> tiny sneak peek of a necromech, but if you're in a relay, why don't we take a closer look? Yeah, you at home, I think, can take a look at them. There's a few amazing variations of them. Oh my god, those are they're terrible. So, this scary. is a new enemy faction um, specific to the Entrati. These are kind of their. Uh, berserk sentries that are still lurking in the lowest and uh, hardest parts of the uh, Deimos underworld. And, and thankfully, you got swallow fast travel to get out of there. Yeah. Yes, we are adding <laughs> yep. fast travel to those yep. underground yep. tunnels. Uh oh. does not like sister. See the blood of the Entrati worm landing in the landscape. Getting wiggy. You're gonna, you're gonna need some extra power here. Looking at old world war style, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, <laughs> 